just as I thought. I showed people how to do that simple Excel graph and now I've gotten a few requests on pivot tables. People are asking about pivot tables, which uh, gives you a lot more flexibility, I guess. Let's do it. Uh, we'll start from the beginning. Here we are, Wireshark. Got a trace file here. It's important to have this uh, time column correctly formatted, hours, minutes, seconds. So again, if that's not what you have, you go to time display format, time of day. Again, we're not using calendars here. So time of day, and we're using seconds. So as soon as you do that, you end up with this. Again, file, export, and file. There we go. And I'm going to call this uh, medium file test.csv. And again, that's the key here, CSV, comma separated values. Okay. And again, if you have filters, display filters, please keep this in mind. I don't. So I'm going to do the whole thing and save. Done. Okay. Now that it's there, we'll go to Excel and we'll open that file. Now that we've created that CSV file, we just find it in our browser, double click. Excel opens up, which opened up on my other screen. So let me just drag that over here. There we go. And we've got all of our output. So a uh, few things people want to do is uh, insert an extra column here, call it bits. Network people are bit heads, and the math is pretty simple. Um, you have two ways of doing this, uh, or I'm sorry, two different types of formulas. Some uh, people have asked me why I do just times eight, and that gives me how many bits per second. And the reason why they ask me that is quite simply, this is not the entire frame length. So the packet length is actually 64, uh, and that's because um, Wireshark is not recording that CRC at the end of it. Um, so simply, if you want to, if you want to be more precise, no problem. We'll take this and we'll add four, and we'll multiply by eight. So there you go. So it's this cell, mul um, excuse me, this cell. Add four. Put that in brackets. Obviously, order of operations apply, and that total is multiplied by eight. So there you go. Um, there's there's a million ways of copying this this bit uh, formula now all the way down. And and again, I'm a keyboarder, so I'll give it a try and I'll try explaining it to you and other than that you can you can do it your own way. So first thing we do is uh, copy. So you know what? Uh, I won't even use the keyboard for this part. I'll just use copy. Right click and copy or control C. Everybody knows how to do that. And what I want to do is fill this whole column. So the way I do it is I uh, arrow once to the left. I hold the control key and I tap the down arrow key and that takes me all the way to the bottom. So I basically use this column to ride the values all the way down. All right. Then I move one to the right, and control shift up arrow, and that's it, enter. And now I've got the formulas. So if you know much about the keyboard strokes, uh, all of that's pretty obvious. If you don't, hey, now you know. A couple other things, uh, formatting. We'll take these two columns, and we'll add some commas, and we'll get rid of the decimals. All right, that's it. Now the fun part. We're going to go all the way down. So again, just control down arrow all the way down and go to the next available cell. And we're going to plus and move all the way back to the top. Control up arrow key. And we're going to pick that first time value. And there it is. Now we're going to add a formula, which is this cell plus double quote zero zero colon zero zero colon zero one. One second. And there you are, 28 seconds. So um, again, there's many different ways to do it. I'll, I'll do this the long way, just in case uh, you don't know fancy shortcuts. We'll do a Control C for copy, move to this blank cell, and I can see I have 8,644 cells to go. So again, uh, this is entirely up to you. I'm just going to hit this, hold the Shift key down, page down, until I get to I don't know 17,000. Sure, let's do that. Da 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 da. And I'm going to have a little. Tony humming music in the background. So 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15, and 16, and 7. I can just feel the emails coming in, people telling me how to do this a quicker way using data fill and all that nonsense. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is uh, simply put a zero here and a zero here. There you go. Going to take these two as well, copy. And again, I'll do my little tricks. 
arrow once to the left, control down, arrow once to the right, control shift up, enter. There you go. So what we've done is we've basically provided um, this data field, which is the time, incremented by seconds, um, and these blank values. And the reason why I'm doing all this is pivot tables allow you to do something the first trick did not. Here's the problem. I have here 2.44 p.m. and 11 seconds and 14 seconds. So if you were to graph this, you would see 11 and 14. You wouldn't see the dead air of 12 and 13. So this is what the pivot table is going to do. If there is no value, then these zeros kick in. If there is a value, then obviously it'd be graphed. So that's what that deals with. So just a little uh, housekeeping. The very last uh, packet here is 1244.20. You just want to go all the way to the bottom and you see what I've done? I've overshot this. So I can back up and 1244. So 1244. Oh wow, I really overshot this, didn't I? Let me just let me just make sure I did that right. Yeah. Yeah, 2 I'm sorry, 244.20. Oh wow. Okay. So let me move back down. 244.20. 244 and there's 20. So I don't need all this extra nonsense. I just got carried away for nothing, all right? Um, and that's it. So now the fun starts. I'm going to select uh, these three columns, and I'm going to insert a pivot table. As soon as I do that, it asks me where I want it to put it. I'm going to, I'm sorry, the range, and I want to put it in your worksheet. I'm going to click OK. And now the fun starts. We want time. And we want bits, for example. Uh, the bits, you don't want it all smushed in there. So what I'm going to do is take the bits and move them down to values. And I don't want this here, so I'm going to get rid of that. So we got our time, and we've got our bits. Now, if you've noticed, it says count. We don't want to count these things. We want to sum them. So if I come over here, I can go to, you know what? That's gone off your screen. Let me show you how to do it from here. Um, come over here. We can change our value field settings, and we want sum. There you go. So now you can see uh, there's the totals, and you can see those dead air or no packet points in time. See? So again, you can do the same deal. You can highlight this whole column, throw a col commas in there. We can back off the zeros. And now you, you can easily, very easily, just highlight all this data and just insert line there you are. So now I can actually see all those little dead airs or dead spots or no packet points. Uh, if you don't like this in there, little tip, right click, move, chart, and just dump it on its own sheet. And there you are. See? So I hope that helps. Hope that wasn't too long and arduous, but uh, a lot of people have asked for it. So there you go. Have a good day. Enjoy.